So um, we're here in London with Stephen Wilson, the amazing Stephen Wilson. You agreed to uh, to show us a little bit about your rig. And mm -hmm. You've been using G System for quite a while, right? Maybe about eight or nine years now. I used to have a, a Bob Bradshaw rig. Yeah. Very complex, but. I was looking to slim things down because uh, obviously when you do a lot of shows you have to be a bit more portable. Yeah. And then somebody recommended me uh, the G system and I use it basically as the main brain. I use the loops. I have um, a Carl Martin compressor in loop one. I have uh, a Boss distortion in loop two yeah. and a sound, uh, sound blocks multi-wave distortion in loop three. Uh, I have the volume pedal in loop four. and. The problem with the volume pedal sometimes is if you put it in the wrong place in the loop, it doesn't behave like you want it to. Uh, for example, a volume pedal after the distortion stage means that the distortion is already there, even when you've got the volume pedal on a very, very low. Yeah, Do you know so what I mean? it's basically going to be the same sound, only louder exactly. or, or, or more quiet. Yes, and I don't always want that, particularly on the distorted channel. Oh, you want I to want be able to ride it so you can exactly. get like, different nuances of gain. So it works for me better in the loop on the TC. Yeah. And I also use the TC to switch between the bad cat amplifier, which I use, uh, the clean channel and the distorted channel are simultaneously active. In other words, they're always, it's not like it's switching. Okay, so basically you have, you plug into both and you just decide which one you... The TC decides for ah. me. So, and the way, I, the way I figured that out is I use the TC in mono mode, so I use the left hand and the right hand, the balance thing, yeah. to, to basically send signal to the oh, clean channel, which obviously gives me the option also to send a bit to both. Yeah, so you can kind of blend them together. So that, that works great for me. Well, I'll show you some of the sounds I use. For example, this is a sound which goes through the, the, the distorted channel on the, on the bad cat. Yeah. Uh, so the this is the clean distorted channel. So I've got the TC adding in a kind of lower octave to make it really... A lot more nasty. And, yeah, that's cool. And then I add in a little bit of the Boss distortion pedal to make it really... So that's a very simple use of the, yeah. uh, of the pitch algorithm in the TC. And then I also use more kind of impressionistic sounds. Like this sound, for example, is used on a very kind of ambient piece. And I've got all sorts of things going here. Modulation, delays, reverbs, compression. If I take out the extra compression, this is purely TC yeah. through the clean channel. idea of kind of big clouds yeah. of sound. What's that chorus and delays and reverbs? And That's actually, I don't use chorus a lot, I prefer no. to use uh, modulation. So the modulation is the vibrato yeah, okay. algorithm. Yeah. Just with a little bit of, you know, vib on it, yeah. it just gives it a bit more colour I find. And I, and I love the, 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 the vibrato algorithm on here is fantastic. And then a lot of delay and a lot of reverb to create that kind of cloud, yeah, washy, washy yeah, cloud yeah. effect. So you get those kind of shoegazery type sounds. Yeah. And of course you can add distortion into that too and you get really kind of uh, epic, yeah. you know, kind of a... Uh very kind of big sounds. Now, this interesting sound, this is, again, this is all inside the TC, going through the, the distorted channel on the bad yeah. cat. This is a deliberately really ugly kind of... Um, uh, pitch shift effect yeah. where I've got the pitch a semitone out from the main pitch and blended together. Oh. So it becomes like a more kind of uh, almost sound design yeah. type sound. Um. that on a song called Time, Time Travel in Texas, not, not with this project, but it's a basically a kind of very sinister, funky groove with the bass and drums, yep. and then these kind of sounds over the top, and it uh, sounds really nasty, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, horror, horror music. Uh, very much, yeah, more like sound, sound yeah. design, so rather than using the guitar in a sort of obvious guitar way, more using it in a more abstract way. Yeah. Um, and again, that's, so that's mainly coming from the pitch algorithm, just blending in a semitone interval with the, with the yeah. main sound. So it's immediately really ugly, you know. Yeah. Uh. But 
then, but then you can use the whammy bar to create all those kind of other things. I love all that, I love all that stuff, you know. When you do things like that, do you typically, do you know what you're going for beforehand and then try to dial it in on the G system? Pretty or much, is it, is pretty it? much, yeah. I mean, because, I'm, because I work so much in the studio as a kind yeah. of producer, I yeah. kind of know, I know how, how, how I would create those effects using plugins in the studio, so I, I kind of apply the same principles yeah. to, to the G system. Um, it's basically, or you get to a point where you almost have like a sound that's, that's almost entirely effect. Yeah. Uh, there's hardly any of the original <laughs> guitar in there at all. But that's the great thing about the G system is that you very quickly you can dial in those kind of yeah. sounds. And you have tons of presets. I kind of noticed you're up to. Well, I have so think. many projects that I tour yeah. with. Um, and you use G system for all of them, or absolutely, yeah. yes, yeah. Um, as you can see, I don't have a lot other than the G system. I mean, really, the the, the heart of this is the G system and the amp. Yeah. The fact that Bad Cat has the two channels simultaneously active is kind of key key to yeah. my sound too. Do you blend them sometimes, the, the clean and the dirty channel? Not as much as I thought I would. No? Not as much as I thought I would, but I do, on a couple of sounds, I actually have a combination of clean and, and dirty. Yeah. But generally speaking, I'd say 95% of the time, the G system is controlling things. Yeah. And it's, as you see, it's quite a simple setup. You know, it's not a lot going on there. Um, I, you know, sometimes I see these guitar players with like 30 pedals, and I think, do tap dancing from hell. Yeah. And, yeah, and also there's always one of them going wrong every yeah, gig. It's yeah, like he's, yeah. somebody's like, you know. And the G system has been incredibly reliable to me and, and um, I'm very flexible and, and uh, all the tones I need really, I can get from it. I'm a great believer in keeping things simple live. Because yeah. they can't, you know, people out there can't tell the difference if you're using a vintage, you know. No, no, I don't no. think so. <laughs> and, and I love, you know, the delay algorithms on here are great. I mean, I, I use so much delay on a lot of the sounds. And being able to dial out high frequencies and stuff and, yeah. and, and get more of a kind of vintage tape yeah. delay, it's all possible. Do you do a lot of, you know, do you do a lot of punching in and out during s no. so many presets or is it like, you know, I want to add a bit of... In fact, I don't do any. No. So the way I use it, I, basically every bank in here is, relates to a song. Okay. So rather than sort of having to, you know, dial in individual uh, algorithms during the middle of the song, I just create, I just copy it to the next one along. Yeah and make the, the relevant change. So actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not even having to think too much about it when I'm on stage. No. I like this one too. This is, this is a sound I'm using for a brand new song. And again, you know, that vibrato thing. Yeah. You'll find I use a lot of my clean sounds particularly. I'm always dialing in a bit. It just gives it more color for me. And that, again, that's pure TC. There's nothing else, there's no other pedals in that. That it's cool that you're using the vibrato. I've been talking to a guys for a long time about, you know, basically chorus gives you this certain kind of vibe, and I definitely prefer vibrato as well too. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of chorus. For me, chorus makes the sound too synthetic. Yeah. But if you just get a little, a little bit of a vibrato, it reminds me of, the, you know, like those old AC30s, or, the tre or, the, or tremolo as yeah. well I use, like yeah. vibrato tremolo. It just gives it color without, without sort of making it sound Process synthetic or, or processed yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. it kind of reminds me of the 80s too much chorus yeah, yeah you know. exactly <laughs> and you know some amazing amazing sounds in that era the people using chorus but i i prefer more organic sounds and the vibrato and tremolo always to me makes it seem more organic yeah well brilliant stuff thanks so much for, for taking the time to do this thank you thank you very much mm -hmm.